If you intend to use any of OpenLink Software's data access products to connect to a progress database, you do need to know some basic information about that target database. I'm going to show you how to obtain that information if progress is hosted on a Windows operating system. If you do not have access to your own Windows Progress Database server, you would want to contact your DBA to obtain the information that I'm citing herein. Otherwise, if you do have access to your machine, what you would do is you'd log in, you'd expand your start menu, you would locate your Progress Explorer tool. My Progress Explorer is conveniently right on the start menu when I open it up. You may need to do a drill down. You will typically go into all programs. You will see a progress subfolder and the progress explorer tool can be accessed from this starting point as well. You open it up. Whenever you work with the Progress Explorer, you do have to connect to it. This entails use of a username and possibly a password. If you don't have this information, again, you may have to fall back on a Progress DBA. To proceed, I'm going to highlight the localhost icon and I am going to right click it and connect. My username is administrator. I don't have a password. Just going to click OK. Now there's basically four things we look for whenever you work with progress. The first thing is you want to look at the database version. You, it's a good idea to always know the exact version. This helps you identify the most appropriate open link product that you should use to connect to your target database. Here by using the help about menu we can see that it is a 10.2a database. The second thing that you want to do is verify that the actual database is running. It's not that common, but people can encounter server handle errors or unable to start database agent errors if they do use our products to connect to a database that's not running and they are not aware of it. So to do that, we expand this little menu tree here. We go down to the databases folder, expand its submenu. Here you see demo. Demo is the name of the database to which I'm trying to connect. I'm going to highlight that. The presence of this stop icon here indicates that the database is actually running. If I were to click that icon, this would turn green and it would prompt me to start it. At other points in the SQL Explorer, you will actually see text that indicates that the database is running. We may see that a little bit later. Third, we want to determine if the database is running in sockets or shared memory mode. We're going to drill down a little bit further. We want to highlight this default server group icon and view properties. Here we see that the running database is associated with a service name or port number Pro102A. This means that the database is started and listing on this TCP port, so it is running in sockets. And finally, we want to determine if it is accepting SQL 89 client connections, SQL 92 client connections, or both. Just look down here, you will see client type, and it has three radio buttons. This 4GL only, that's synonymous with SQL 89 only connections. This facilitates connectivity from OpenLink SQL 89 agents that support arrays and triggers, table view, and distributed connectivity. SQL only, that is synonymous with SQL 92 connectivity only. That means that OpenLink's SQL 92 products can connect and run the more advanced SQL 92 queries. This over here, which is actually checked, the both 4GL and SQL means that it is running in mixed mode and it will take on both SQL 89 and SQL 92 based connections. Click OK. At this point, we do know our version. We know that our database is running. 
we know that it's running in sockets and we do know that it's running in mixed mode. So we are free to actually exit out of the Progress Explorer. I do want to point out that there may be instances where you have access to your Windows Progress Database server but you can't use the administrator for some reason. In that event, you can go ahead and you can use the Progress Database native log file to obtain the same information. I'm going to show you how you do that. You would use your Windows Explorer and you would drill down into the directory that contains your actual database log file. This should be the same directory that contains both the database, the database transaction file, database before image file. My files, for, my database files are contained within this open edge directory in a WRK 10.2a subdirectory. As you see here, that's the actual database. There's the image file the lock file on the license. This is the actual log file or .lg file. This is a text-based file. You can typically open it with an editor such as Notepad or WordPad. If you find that you can't open it because it's in use by another process, simply make a copy of the file and then open, it, then open the copy with your text editor. When you're working with these files, it's very important that you know that you are looking at records for the last database startup. If you find some entries at the top of the file from months ago that show that the database was started in sockets, but it started up last night in shared memory mode, then you're working with bad information and that's not going to help you establish a connection. So it's always best to scroll down to the bottom. and move backwards. Here I see that the database was shut down. So this actually indicates, this section down here indicates that it's starting up. You can see that it was started, started using TCP, so it is running in sockets. And I can get some better information by scrolling a little further down. Note here that there are host name, service name, and network type parameters. Together, the minus H, minus S, and minus N parameters are referred to as socket parameters. As long as they are present, they do indicate that the database is running in sockets or TCP mode. The minus H indicates the host name on which progress has started. Minus S always passes the progress socket service. And minus N, when it passes TCP, indicates that the database is, is running in sockets. If, these, if the database log shows a startup and these minus S, minus H, and minus N parameters are not present, the database is running in shared memory mode. Finally, you'll see an entry that says this broker supports both 4GL and SQL server groups. As I had stated previously, 4GL is synonymous with SQL 89 and SQL is synonymous with SQL 92, so this database is running in mixed mode. And before I forget, the version is actually cited in the log file too. back up here at the top. So as you can see, if you prefer to work with the long file interface, it should be just as efficient and convenient as working with the GUI interface. It's your preference. Just be sure that you get the progress version, the startup mode, and the determination as to whether it accepts SQL 89 connections, SQL 92 connections are both. And as long as that database is running, you should be able to establish connections to it using any of OpenLink's data access products. This concludes this lesson.